Hey guys, I am Kyle, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a beginner's tutorial on how you can use Raindrop.io. So let's get started. So here we are in Raindrop.io, and as you can see, it says that all-in-one bookmark manager. And right from the start, you already have an idea on what it's about. So it's basically like this right here. As you can see in the videos right here as a sample, there are different categories right here. So what this uh, platform does is it organizes your bookmarks and saves them. As you can see, this is a very organized one so that you won't have to look uh, again, look for the important links again. Like for example, you have your fonts, your songs that you is your favorite and you want it to download and you would like it to be very accessible if you want to have it then you can this is the perfect one for you so if you like being organized then yeah this is perfect for you so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna scroll down and we can see the features of range of io and we're gonna go over it quickly so that i would save more of your time so the first one is designed for creative build for coders so this is really good for coders but you don't have to be one and this, this will be also useful for you like for example there is a for your job or for maybe for memories or so on right there you could also use this to organize your own things right here digitally and then you can organize with ease as i have told you this is perfect if you want to be organized and then from here see the big picture right here you can save a lot of articles right here some important details or information that you would want to be very accessible and organized right here and then you can connect to your world full text search right here you can search the entire content of every web page and pdf that you've saved is fully searchable so that is very helpful right here but this i think this one is only for the pro version and we'll be discussing the pricing of this one later on and we've got your backup right here you can back up with a 10 gig of storage for your pro version and then you have your design to be per personal great for teamwork safe and secure and you have a free plan right here so you can use this even if you don't spend a single penny and this is perfectly usable but if you want more features then you can buy the premium one and you can access even outside the browser right here if you want to download the app you can also do that but you can also do it right here in the uh, browser right here so from here what we're gonna do now is we're gonna discuss the pricing now that we're done with this one right here and by the way th there's more reminders upload and so on right there so let's go to the pricing click on the pricing right here and as you can see we have the free so this is basically the, your features right here for the free and the pro yearly is right here so you can uh, when you hover your mouse or your cursor right there you can see the information on what it's about so full text search is raindrop can search through the entire content of every page and pdf you have saved so yeah you can do this right here full text search if you are somewhat um very interested in articles you're someone who reads a lot then this is very helpful for you and permanent library right here so even if a page is taken down the one that you've saved then you'll still have a copy of it in raindrop no limit on count and space so this is awesome right here the perfect i mean the permanent library because even if there is uh no access anymore to that website you would still have a copy in it and hence you would never lose that certain information on that website or especially if it's an article so if it got taken down you would still have copy of it right here in raindrop and there is so much more right here we're not going to be going on it one by one you can go and search it for yourself once you go here so that uh, this video will not be very long and now we're gonna go back right here render on io so you have your options right here so you have the sign up and the download app but in this video we will be uh, signing up right here and we'll be using the raindrop in our browser so click on sign up right there and then from here you can sign it with google and with apple if you want it to be easier but you can also go and use this one right here your username email and password and you can sign up but in my case i'll be using google and i'm just gonna click on this right here so now here we are and as you may have observed i changed my browser right here so previously i have used opera gx but that browser is not supported by ranger.io so i had to, to switch into google chrome 
And that is important because when you click here on browser extension, you would need to install the browser extension in order for you to properly use raindrop.io. And as you can see right here, we don't have Opera GX. These are the only browsers that is supported by uh, raindrop.io. So you have to choose one of these browsers right here. So in my case, I chose Chrome. So we would need uh, extension. So we're going to click on Chrome right here so that we can download the extension on Google Chrome right here. So let's just wait for it to load. And then from here, click on Add to Chrome. And after that, we're going to click on Add, Add to Extension. And right here, so now we have it in our extension. So we're going to click on this icon, Extensions icon. And we have the range of the I.O. What we want to do is we want to pin it right here so that we it would uh, show up right here. So this is the icon of raindrop.io and we're going to click on this icon and right here we can see that we have this right here. But before we dive into this one, let's go into google.com and we're going to search for articles. So we're going to use this as an example. So let's say we want to search for the importance of bookmark. So this is just an example so that we would have a sample website that we would be saving. And let's say we want this one right here. And yeah. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to save this article into our bookmark. And to do that, we simply need to click on the cloud icon or the bookmark icon for the range drop. And as you can see right here, we it says why you need bookmark. So you need to be on the tab that you want to save. And in my case, I want to save this tab right here or this article. So as you can see, this is where I will be pressing the raindrop icon right here. So as you can see, it says why you need bookmarks. And then you can uh, put your note right here on what is uh, what you want to say about this right here so that you can remember. And then say, let's say we want to know it as this is important on the tutorial I am going to teach next. Let's say that is my note. And for the collection, right here, you can do this right here. You can find or create a selection. So to create a selection is you basically need to type here something that you don't have in your collection. But if you already have that, then you, you can just click on it just like this one, unsorted, and it will be on the unsorted collection. But in my case, I want to choose a, I mean, I want to create a new collection. So let's say new or maybe articles right here. And we're going to click on this one right here so that we can create another collection right there. As you can see, it's now saving the collection of articles and we'll be basically going to be seeing it right here. As you can see, we now have the articles right here because we have created one. And then the next one, we're going to press on this icon again. And then from here, we're going to add a tags. So tags is basically like collection, but you, but you can... Um, let me show you so that I can explain better. So the tags would be, let's say that article again, article. And we're going to go and click here right there. So we now have added a tag called article. And when we go back right here, as you can see, it's not appearing yet. We would need to save it right here. So we have the article tag for this one right here. So basically, you can add a lot of articles. Compared to collection, you can only add it into one collection. So with tags, you can add more, like for example, uh, book tips right there and click on it right here. So we have a lot of tags right here. So this would be really good. The tags would be really good when you are sorting your articles right here or your links or your saved files. And yeah, you can benefit greatly for that. And then you have your URL right here. So you don't need to mess with this one because it's already the same as this one right here. So if you mess this up, then it might be different from this one and you won't be able to access the page and so on. And you have your favorite right here. So if you click on fit, click right here on the heart icon, this would be saved into favorites and you would have your favorites right here after we save this right here. And you also have this right here. So basically it's a add a reminder, but as you can see, it is only available with a pro account. So if you want this, then you would need to avail the pro account right here and you have your highlights right here. So as you can see, the render up IO extension respects your privacy and so on. However, to enable highlighting, we need to access the data of your visited web page. And you can click on continue right there and click on allow if you want to add highlights because you would need this permission and click on highlight. And then from here, select text on a web page. So from here, I'm going to go here. So click on control shift plus S right here. 
as you can see I'm gonna go basically and do that we're gonna highlight that but I don't have that free version right here so you can do this right here but in my case I'll not be doing that and I'm gonna go here and the tabs next and as you can see you have the same tabs so you have the bookmarks Wordjob.io right here and this basically are your save tabs and here is your collection right there and this two one right here this is basically just optional you didn't need to mess with this one and then from here you can now save this right here and as you can see we have saved this by clicking on this one and then from here we're just going to refresh this right here so as you can see we now have the favorites because we have added it to favorites right here as you can see right there and as you can see we already have the check mark right here on our icon which means it's already been saved and from here we're gonna go into the notes so from here in the notes you have it right here as you can see then you can click on this one and you will be prompted right here into the website again and you have your articles because this is your filters for your articles right here and here are your tags as you can see right here and we have talked about this earlier this is the purpose of tags so you can basically see this article in a, in different tags or in many tags right here compared to articles in the collection right here you can only see this link under the collections of articles right here and yeah you can also see that in one collection and you have your articles and book tips right here and after this one now that you know how you can import it right here all that's left basically is you can go and just uh, organize it yourself you can even set the icon for this one right here so go to articles and you can click here and then from here you can add tags you can remove move and so on right here but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here and change icon click on change icon and then you can choose the icon that you want so let's say we want it to be this one calendar icon as you can see and now as you can see it's now the calendar icon right here so in this way you can design your own um, collections right here and your icons right here so it would be pleasing to look at and then the next thing that i'm going to show you is how you can uh, design your uh, home page right here so to do that we simply need to click here right here in our name at the top right or top left by the way i mean top left and click on settings right here click on settings and then from here you can customize your color you can go for dark mode you can go for black and white you can go for this color right here if you'd want to and the default view mode you can go for list you can go for cards as you would want that but i want it to be remained at touch right there because i don't want to change it and then from here click on a bookmark so when you click on a bookmark it would open a new tab or you can just set it as a preview so when you click on a bookmark it would just preview it it would not be opened and so on right here you have your buttons and you can go and customize this also if you'd want to so you could add favorites and so on tags right here copy to link or copy link to clipboard but as you can see we can only add uh six i mean five of them right here one two three four five you can only add five buttons right here and you can sort your tags by name and by number of bookmarks and so on right there and we have here our account you can see your account right here you can even go for your subscription what subscription you have right here you can also do this right here your import and the rest right here this backup is also very important so that you would never lose this data i advise if you have a pro plan that you set this up right here and you're for your 2fa if you would like that then you can just click on add but we're not going to be discussing this i'm just showing you this one because this is a whole other topic and then from here we're going to go back right here and from here i think that you can click here on more and you can see the total bookmarks that you have in this collection and you can basically export this if you'd like to so you can go for text right there and when you open this as you can see you have your links right here if you would like that so this is also very handy in case you would want to share it or you would want to transfer this in one of your devices or so on or for whatever purpose you may have and now we'll be going back into settings right here click on settings right there and as you may have noticed we skipped this feature right here called import because this one is basically a good um, 
feature right here because as we have previously done we have exported this one so you could also import this into your account right here so for example you have other accounts so aside from this one right here in raindrop then you could just use the import one so that you can import all your links right here or your saved files in your account and transfer it into this account so we're going to click upload file and then basically you need to find a text where you have saved this right here click on this one right here we're gonna go and do it right here and basically we're gonna be uh it's in located in the downloads so we're gonna be clicking on upload file go into downloads right here click on articles open and then from here we're gonna go and click on start to import right here and you have your mode import all or only new folders bookmarks or start from scratch or in my case i'll be going for import all and click on start import and as you can see it is now imported so i'm gonna go to home and it will be right here as you can see we now have two folders right here for articles and that's because we have imported this right here and yeah that is basically the use of the import feature and the export feature right here in raindrop.io so i think that i have shown you enough for this beginner tutorial if you have any other thoughts and uh, please feel free to share it in the comments so that is basically it for this video thank you for watching